morning and welcome to Falcon TV. It's Thursday, January 28th, 2021. I'm Nadia along with the rest of the FTV crew. COVID has kept people home, but it has also allowed them to find creative things to do with their time. One such group, a bunch of A-list celebrities, recreated the classic film, The Princess Bride, from scratch using smartphones to film their own scenes during quarantine. The home movie version is nearly as entertaining as the first, simply because you don't know who or what is to expect next. It's also worth noting it features the final screen performance of Carl Rayner, the father of the original film's director, Rob Rayner. He plays the grandfather at the end. The grandson is played by his actual son, Rob. Carl passed away three days after filming his scene. The film is an hour and a half long and we included the link on our YouTube page and in the email we sent out. Here is just a small list of some of the actors. Fred Savage, J.K. Simmons, Sarah Silverman, Adam Sandler, Neil Patrick Harris, Jack Black, Paul Rudd, Carrie Elwes, Tiffany Haddish, Penelope Cruz, Zoe Saldana, Hugh Jackman, Javier Bardem, Keegan-Michael Key, Natalie Morales, Charlize Theron, Patton Oswalt, Rain Wilson, Brian Cranston, John Maklovich, and many more. As a guy who's sportsman? Are you kidding me? It's got fencing, fighting, torture, revenge, giant chases, escapes, true love, miracles. Doesn't sound too bad. I'll try and stay awake. Oh, well, thank you very much. Your vote of confidence is, is overwhelming. The Princess Bride by S. Morgan Stern, Chapter One. Buttercup was raised on a small farm in the country of Florin. Her favorite pastimes were riding a horse and tormenting the farm boy that worked there. His name was Wesley, but she never called him that. Isn't that a wonderful beginning? Yeah, it's really good. Farm boy, polish my horse's saddle. I want to see my face in it by morning. As you wish. As you wish is all he ever said there. Please. As you wish. That day, she was amazed to discover that when he was saying, as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. A word, my lady. If the Princess Pride doesn't do it, then for the fans of Harry Potter, HBO Max is in development of a live-action Harry Potter TV series. But right now, it's in early development. In natural news, positive happenings that seem to be taking place are President Joe Biden repealed the ban of transgender service members in the U.S. military. Janet Yeldon has become the first female U.S. Treasury Secretary, confirmed in his Senate vote. Biden is prioritizing environmental justice for the first time in a generation as part of the unprecedented push to cut the nation's greenhouse gas emissions and create new jobs as the United States shifts toward cleaner energy. Biden will direct agencies across the federal government to invest in low-income and minority communities that have traditionally borne and brunt of pollution. He will sign an executive order establishing the White House and Interagency Council on Environmental Justice, create an Office of Health and Climate Equity and at the Health and Human Services Department and form a separate Environmental Justice Office at the Justice Department. Also, new COVID-19 cases have reported in the USA decrease for nearly two weeks, signaling the country may be emerging from post-holiday surge of infections. The seven-day roll in average nearly average sits near 170,000 new cases per day, down more than 30% over the past two weeks. The CDC has called for schools to begin returning students to the classroom, but what this means exactly is still unclear. And Johnson & Johnson said it was on track to produce 100 million doses of its COVID-19 vaccine by June and will present efficacy data early next week. Pending approval, it will become the third available vaccine in the USA. Unlike existing two vaccines, it requires only one shot and can be stored at standard refrigerated temperatures for up to three months. Today for Custodian Appreciation, we look at Linda Tullis. Always energetic, she loves the Lord, enjoys time with her family and cooking. 
She is known for her cooking, but also her sense of giving. She is currently remodeling her house and spreading love through prayers. Here at Oak, besides taking care of the school, she loves welcoming students into the building and humming songs while making sure the school keeps going. Well, that's all for today. So for me and everyone here at Falcon TV, have a great day.